Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and it's time to finish that wedding quilt. Now that the drama with the pigs is over, I'll be so glad when daddy comes home. Now when I cut this off the frame, I cut it right along the edge of the quilt. But the two side pieces, see how nice and straight that is? The two side pieces still have to be trimmed and you want a really good sharp pair of scissors. And you want to cut as close as you can without cutting into your finished quilt blocks. I have two sides to do and then we'll get the binding underway. Okay, so here it is. It's all the edges are all trimmed. There's the black and white background and the white stitching shows up beautiful on it. And uh, now we have to do the binding. So what I'm using for the binding is just two and a half inch white on white that I've been using actually throughout the quilt for the white chevron diamond pattern. And I've done some rough math and I have approximately 14 yards of this. Now how I did that was, let me just, I'm, show, I'm sewing them together uh, right sides facing. That's all we need our sewing machine for right now. Remember what I said about irons, folks. If you don't want, if you don't like ironing, don't take up quilting. And all I'm going to do, if you really want to be comfortable with your binding, make it three inches. But I am just now folding this over and ironing it. And as I fold it over and iron it, I'm going to wind it up on an empty toilet roll. And how I do that is I've just taken a toilet roll and I've cut a little split in it. You can go down as far as you want. And I'm just going to put the end in like this, slide it in, and start rolling it up as I iron it. Okay, here is our binding. Now, the reason I have... I have videos on binding, but the reason I'm going to show you is because I'm not just machine sewing the binding on, I'm also finishing the binding with the machine. I'm going to drop this on my nice clean floor to unroll as I go. That's the beautiful part about using a toilet roll. And I'm going to make sure that my binding overlaps a couple of inches so that I can do the end. And I'm just going to put a pin in. Now you can pin it all if you want, but if you've got a nice straight cut edge, you really don't need to. So I'm just going to line this up. And that's another, that's the beauty of having your binding, binding on a toilet roll. It, you can unroll it as you go. Let's get my needle up. And you're going to sew it as close to the edge as you can. Okay, so now I have the binding sewn on the back. And we're going to turn it over. And I've pinned the corner. And now we're just going to fold it over and sew as close as we can to the original line on the other side. Here's the original line that the binding is sewed to on the other side. So we want to stitch along that line and we want to keep this edge as close to that as possible. Okay, folks, the quilt is finished. I even quilted a heart in the very, very center. Not too shabby. And there is the black and white side with the white trim so that it can be reversible to match their bedroom. Now I'm going to wash this in cold on the delicate cycle and put it in the delicate cycle in the dryer. See the heart? And uh, 
That will fluff it up and get rid of all the little loose threads. This is a Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying by the time you see this video, I'm on my way to a wedding. Is there anything better than a handmade quilt for a wedding gift? If there is, I don't know what it is. Take care. God bless.